Hello friends, it's so nice to see you again. Today's class was filmed in Avila Beach, California, one of my favorite getaways that's not too far from home. During our flow, I invite you to free the mind of all that is no longer serving you. Ground yourself in your breath and be present in each sensation that may arise during your practice. Establish an attitude of gratitude, being thankful for all you have in life, beginning with your breath. This vital life force energy that moves through you without thought, without effort, constantly carrying you through this beautiful life, through your beautiful practice, and healing your body from within. Join me on the mat for this gentle yoga flow to start or end your day in bliss. Meet me at the back of your mat with feet crossed in front of you for Sukhasana. Begin by taking a cleansing breath in through the nose and sigh it out the mouth. One more time, inhaling deep into the nose and exhale, sigh it out the mouth, sealing the lips and starting your Samavritti breathing, making an oceanic sound in the back of the throat. Place the hands on the heart and begin to bring yourself love and gratitude for choosing to take this time out of your day for yourself. Begin to feel that pranic energy culminating beneath your palms as your chest slowly begins to rise and fall in even equal rhythms. Feel your lungs expand, and as they contract, visualize every cell in the body being reoxygenated and replenished with bright new positive energy. On your next inhale, raise the arms overhead. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to your heart in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, raise the arms overhead. And as you exhale, twist to the left, resting the right hand on the left knee. Left hand goes behind and look over your left shoulder for a seated spinal twist. Remember to sit nice and tall as you inhale and exhale, let it go. Keep your right hand on the left knee and inhale, raise the left arm overhead, resting the left hand on the right knee, crossing the arms and drop the chin into the chest, rounding through the upper back, similar to your cat pose. Inhale, slowly release the hands and raise the arms back overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, resting the left hand on the right knee. Right hand goes behind and look over your right shoulder for a seated spinal twist. Inhale deep as you twist from the belly button and exhale, keep your left hand on the knee 
Inhale, raise the right arm overhead, resting the right hand on the left knee, crossing the arms, dropping the chin, and rounding through the upper back. Inhale, slowly begin to release the hands and raise the arms overhead. Exhale, interlace the fingers in front of you. Inhale, raise the arms overhead, arching the spine for seated cow. Exhale, drop the hands in front, tuck the chin into the chest, seated cat. Inhale, arms come back overhead, leaning back, open the chest to the sky. Exhale, drop the hands in front, round through the upper back. Inhale one more time, lean back, arch the spine. Exhale, drop the hands in front, tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale, coming back to center, raise the arms overhead. And exhale, let the hands go, interlacing them behind the back and opening the chest to the sky. Release the hands and move your way into a tabletop position. Remember to align your shoulders over the wrists and your hips over the knees. Start to draw big circles to the left with your hips, being super loose and free in this movement. Slowly reverse the circle, drawing that circle to the right with your hips now. Finding any organic movement here that feels good in your body. Gently sit the hips back to the heels and reach the arms in front of you. Ground the forehead to the earth for child's pose. You may either keep your knees together or keep the big toes together and bring the knees apart for wide child's pose. Come back to your breath here and take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise up into tabletop. And as you exhale, walk the hands forward and reach the sternum towards the earth for puppy pose. Make sure that in this pose, your hips remain directly over the knees. And if you'd like a deeper stretch, bring your chin to the earth and look up towards the fingertips. Walk the hands back into tabletop and reach with your left hand out to a T Thread the needle through the right shoulder and reach with the right palm to the front of the mat. Square the shoulders and rest the forehead to the earth. Breathe deeply as you feel the left shoulder beginning to open. One more inhale here. And as you exhale, return into tabletop. Inhale, reach out to a T with the right arm. And exhale, thread the needle, reaching to the top of your mat with the left fingertips and grounding the forehead to the earth. Making sure that your shoulders and your hips are squared. One last breath in this pose. And as you exhale, ground the left palm and come back into your tabletop position. Tuck the toes underneath, engage the core and bring the belly button into the spine and grip into the mat with your fingertips, creating a hand lock. Press back into downward facing dog and pedal the feet out, waking up the hamstrings. Slowly start to walk the hands back to the feet, coming into a standing forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, 
rise halfway and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release into your standing forward fold. Bring the feet hips width apart and grab the opposite elbows. Start to sway slowly side to side, bending one knee at a time for a gentle and loose ragdoll. Moving slowly and breathing deeply. Release the hands and come back into a standing forward fold. Interlace the fingers behind the back and allow the hands to hang toward the earth so you may feel a release in the shoulders. Nice deep inhale here and as you exhale release the hands and walk them forward into your downward facing dog. On your next inhale round through into your plank position. Exhale press back downward facing dog. Inhale round through into plank making this a wave like motion. Exhale down dog. Inhale round through to plank. Exhale drop the belly and press back. Inhale round through to plank one more time. As you exhale take a slow chaturanga all the way to the earth. Release the toes and fingertips will come out wide for our cobra waves. Inhale rise into cobra. Exhale, release to the mat. Inhale, rise in a wave-like motion. Exhale, release to the earth. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, once more. Exhale, release the left shoulder to the mat. Inhale, rise back to center. Exhale, release the right shoulder to the mat. Inhale, rise back to center. Exhale, release and bring the hands back to the ribs, pressing back into your downward facing dog. Take your time and start to slowly walk the feet up to the hands. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, melt into standing forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees and round up into mountain pose, raising the arms overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, raise the arms overhead, lean back into standing cobra. Exhale, hands come back to heart center. Once more, inhale, standing cobra. Exhale, dive forward into standing forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way to the earth and press back into child's pose. Recenter for a moment and on your next inhale, we'll begin to tuck the toes and press back into the last downward facing dog of the practice. Sink the heels low. Start to slowly walk the feet up towards the hands. Inhale, rise halfway, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, melt into your standing forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, start to slowly lower the hips, coming up onto the toes, hands overhead. Exhale, release the hands, grabbing onto the big toes with two peace fingers and round back into plow pose. Bring the hands to the low back for support, hugging the elbows in toward one another. 
Keep the neck steady in this pose and keep the chin tucked into the chest. Release the hands from the low back and raise the arms, reaching for those toes again. Grab the big toes with two peace fingers and transition into your happy baby. You may either hold on to the two big toes with the peace fingers, or you may grab the outer edges of the feet. Breathe deeply in this pose, and you may either rock side to side and find movement, or just breathe and remain in stillness. On your next inhale, stretch the feet up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest, bring the chin into the chest and hug the knees. Exhale, release into your Supta Baddha Konasana with the bottoms of the feet together and bring one hand onto the heart and one hand onto the belly for some pranayama breathing. Inhale deep into the belly and move that air up into the chest. Exhale through the chest and down through the belly. Inhale into the belly, the ribs, the chest, Exhale through the chest, the ribs, the belly. Inhale through the belly and up into the chest. Exhale chest, ribs, belly. Inhale belly, ribs, chest. Exhale chest, ribs, belly. Inhale through the belly, the ribs, the chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Coming back into your natural breath and releasing the hands to the sides. Bring the knees in toward one another and hug the knees into the chest. Bring the chin into the chest, engaging all the muscles in the body one last time before we release into our Shavasana. Begin to melt into the earth and feel the earth there to support you. As you feel ready, start to slowly reawaken the body senses by wiggling the fingers and toes. Bring the knees into the chest and make your way into a seated position. Let's close out our practice together today by raising the arms overhead gathering all that positive energy we've created and bring that energy down into your Anjali Mudra. Inhale, raise the arms overhead, gathering all that positive energy. Exhale, bring that energy into the third eye chakra for wisdom, into the throat chakra for positive communication and into the heart so that you may carry this positive energy off of your mat and into the world today. Namaste friends, and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more yoga, meditation, and travel vlogs coming soon.